Hi friends, me Suze Pratt. Today is September the 5th, 2016. Um, for those of you in the know, it's very possible that my identity has already been stolen by Mel and Biggie Boho, so um, we're just documenting everything. Uh, been documenting a little bit of Academy and making some statements, so I'm deep in the doghouse. And uh, I should be with them shortly. So, I just wanted to read to you the testament and account of what's been said between Biggie and myself. Okay, so let's get started. This is on um, last Tuesday. And I say, hey Biggie, hanging with Joe's daughter Kenzie, who is quite the computer whiz. Says she would be happy to help me learn how to get around my webpage and expand its content in the future. She reminded me of something you said a long time ago about the information I would need. Fortunately, I kept notes during Academy when you were giving me my early education. This is what you told me that I would need. One, domain name registration as the registrar. Name of the hosting service, where is it hosted? Number three, login and password for WordPress. And I say thanks in advance. Biggie responds, hi, Suze. The website was rather complicated to create and took a lot of time and effort. Of the things you mentioned, you don't need the registrar info or the hosting service name as the domain is registered in my account and the website is hosted on my server. I am sure that Joe's daughter is quite the computer whiz, but I am very hesitant to give access over to someone whose skill set I don't know. We agreed that you were going to cut your teeth on the CCN website and there are a number of fail-safes in place which ensure that no damage can be done to the website. Those fail-safes are not on your website. I am also continuing to work on the website behind the scenes, which I cannot do if other people have access to the website. I don't want to throw away all the work I have been doing just to give someone else access to the website. If someone else makes a mistake, I will not be able to fix it. Let's catch up if there are any issues and we will sort it out. Now, for anybody <clears throat> that knows about computers or websites, I gave a $3,000 donation to have a web page, a worldwide web page for myself, finally built. Um, I've only been online 27 months, and of course in the beginning I was mocked because I had no website. Um, originally I had heard $800 was the average to get one built. So, with everything that's going on behind the scenes at CCN and everything I've witnessed, you know, I had to bring it up, right? I have to uh, make a stand somewhere instead of trying to um, keep the peace or build the bridge at this point. So I say, Hi Biggie, just saw the long message. I've not been online today working behind the chair. Academy in 20 minutes. Getting something to eat. Talk soon. Now, what happened um, on Saturday's show, I did document, and I do have that on tape, but for the first time I wasn't able to get in a Zoom room, and in the end Biggie told me that it was busy and, you know, they have to share my room with other people. Um, I really don't know anything about that, but what I did do is instead of coming in here to Messenger, I made a public post on my Facebook page concerning that very thing, and poof, wouldn't you know, I get a response, and then of course everything's okay. Um, I said, amazingly, it's changed just like that. And I asked him if he had the movie uploaded, and he said he did. And he wants to let me know that YouTube is still not populating our viewer numbers correctly. 
I had nothing to say about that. But now that you bring it up, Mr. Boho, I know now why my numbers are so low and I, I get I get it. I'm I'm not um, in the clique, I'm not controversial and I'm really nobody except for monetary. I, I get it. Okay. And and I now realize that I don't really resonate with a lot of the people that you guys get your big numbers with. All right, now this is the message I put in last night at 11, 12 p.m. Hi, Big E. Been thinking and worrying. First off, I really need to feel like I have a say-so in the owner of my name and website. I know you all have a little time for anything other than this crazy battle taking place, which I have never been involved in via the media platform. Kenzie has a strong WordPress foundation. It will not be your problem because she will only strengthen the team. I am requesting admin for myself and a separate login for Kenzie. Please transfer the ownership of the domain name for suespratt.com through the registrar. As a $3,000 donation is more than fair to build a site, I should not have to feel guilty or bad for simply asking for my basic human rights. You know I love you guys and have always been fair. I have also been taken as many as you guys have many times, and that has never been my purpose. Please allow me to grow and blossom and create a business for myself. Peace out. Okay, now, here's what he says back, and I haven't even read this yet. I would have felt way too much stress and anxiety looking at this earlier when I wasn't prepared to turn my uh, video on. I was out working in the garden, so this is the first time I'm getting ready to see it. I just want to make sure I've really got the camera on, because wouldn't I be a fool if I didn't? Okay, we are recording. Seven minutes and 20 seconds in. Here we go. Hi, Suze. First off, let me make sure you understand that I was never impeding your free will or your human rights. My concern is the website and the work that has already gone into it. The reason why I'm hesitant is that based on your messages, the person that will be helping you doesn't understand what you need done or how to help you. Based on my messages, that, see, that's part of that spell casting because obviously the message was that I have a very competent person. It's him that doesn't choose to believe that. All right, um, but your will is your will, and therefore I will be making the final edits to the website before I hand it over, which means taking certain parts of the website down and deconstructing some of the work that has already gone into it in order to make it usable and transferable. Again, this is going backwards and will take some time. I refuse to let your pride... I refuse to let you project your fears and past experiences at me. But that's exactly what they do during journalism academies. So you can see how this attack works behind the scenes. And here again, they knew I was new. They knew I trusted them. They knew I had a higher purpose. And this is the way I'm being treated. Okay. So by giving you your admin user ID, you will be able to create a user ID for Kenzie. You will be able to manage your website, but there are no longer any fail-safes, which means if you or anyone else that you give access to does something to damage your website, I will no longer be able to offer any technical assistance going forward. And he goes on to give my authorization code, um, the user ID, da-da-da, I am extremely disturbed at the tone of your message and would have hoped that after everything we'd done together, you would at least give me the courtesy of an actual discussion instead of alluding to us impending your freedom or causing you to feel guilty as a reason for wanting it. We only ever had your best interest at heart. Kindest regards, Biggie. Let's see what Mel has to say real quick. Because, of course, she put in a message immediately into... Here we go. Now, of course, she 
never has talked to me this much, but let's go back to late last week when her and Biggie skipped Journalism Academy, which, of course, I logged in and do have. All right. Morning, Suze. Biggie forgot to set his alarm, and I missed it again. We finished up late with an interview with Z. Really worth a watch when it goes up. I watched it live. Still wanting to catch up for that chat, which was with regards to your website. We got your message this morning, and well, let's just say we were pretty saddened by the tone. All that you had to say is that you were sure you wanted to take on board the responsibility and that you would be liable for anything that went wrong. Biggie needs to detach parts of the site which are added and not active as he was building the shop, so it will take some time. Certain other things you asked for only you can do, which is what caused us confusion in the first place, as the person advising you did not seem to know what they were requesting. Anyway, let's speak to clear up the confusion. Biggie is too pissed off about this to deal with it, so I have taken over. With all that we have been going through, we really took offense to your allegatory tone of projecting your drama of being screwed in the past onto us. We have only ever been fair to you. I woke up many mornings to find Biggie still going from the night before dealing with your technical issues, a service he gave you for free. If you gave as much of your service time as a hairdresser's to clients for free, you would be out of business. We have worked hard and have always been honorable to you. We have at no point intended to hold your site sabotage, hostage, nor do we wish to deprive you of human rights, as to suggest so is just ludicrous. So enough with the drama and projection, let's just get this sorted. Call me when you can, I'm around all day Monday. We're supposed to have Academy in 40 minutes, let's see. Just to let you know, saying I should have not... I should not have to feel guilty or bad for simply asking for my basic human rights as pure drama. Wow. We have a real problem with this sentence. Firstly, you have, you have never deprived you of your human rights, nor should you ever have to ask for them. You have complete freedom and flexibility with regards to your website and had no intention of retaining control or anything of the nature. Not sure where your head is or what you're thinking about this about us, but we are really concerned. If you're going to leave, perhaps you should just be up front with us instead of appearing to build a case. Ha <laughs> uh, Appearing to build a case of allegatory bullshit to flee us later like Randy did. Ah, there's the truth, Blondie, huh? We love you dearly and love working with you. Our intention is only to help you grow and blossom. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so we see what we're going into now. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and chill out for 40 minutes. And we'll see what lights up at 10 o'clock. But when someone deliberately goes after me in the exact way that they are accusing me of doing to them, then I gotta say I'm on the right track. And, um, wow. It's really tough, guys. So, uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for being here. All right, I'm back. It's 10 o'clock. Time to go to Journalism Academy. Let's see if Mel and Biggie show up.
love Zoom. Reading my own account, it seems. So I didn't do it wrong, I did it twice. All right. Okay, we need this piece of information. The domain your authorization code to move the domain to a new register account is all of that. The user ID for your website, the password, the URL. Oh yeah, I guess you should see that. Hang on. Let's see. I am extremely disturbed at the tone of your message. I still don't get the tone and would have hoped that after everything we had done together you would at least give me the courtesy of an actual discussion instead of alluding to us impending your freedom or causing you to feel guilty as a result of wanting it mm-hmm I know you guys are slick as shit hey guys me Suze look at this they're trying to mess with my phone see that private caller four times I've already hung up on him, and somehow he's in my phone system. I just want you to hear the noise. Pretty creepy. Too bad I'm um, not scared and I'm totally protected, so... What's coming for you? I have no control over my friend. I'm sorry. It's divine will. Let's see if I push this stop button, what it happened. Okay, just makes it quiet. Let's go back. Isn't this sad? I mean, you guys, you're getting your own rope and making the news, man. Just leave me alone. You never owned me to begin with. Okay. Two new messages, ringer off. Let's see what they are. You have two new messages. Sunday, 4 6 Hmm. All right, let's not delete anything. Let's just skip. Sunday, 4 8 p.m. Hmm. So now we're confirming the spirit and getting a day and a time and knowing exactly what's going on. All right, good enough. Playing message. End of messages. Okay. So why don't we play all the messages? How do everybody knows how much I love my message machine? You have five.
five old Hi. messages. Wednesday, ten fifty nine a.m. Yeah, I come highly recommended <laughs> by the owner. Oh, that's Joe. I always save those too. Love you, Joe. Can I set up an appointment with her? Always. You don't even need an appointment, baby. Bye bye. Tuesday, ten fifty one a.m. I love that message. That's Joe, too. I want it all. Put me down for the whole package. <laughs> you got it. Always. Bye-bye. Thursday, 4, 20 6 p.m. This is Biggie. Um, yeah, you want me to uh, run the Zoom call? Um, Joe's life. Um, you're not there, so far, but if you call, um... Yeah, can you let me know if, you, if you're okay? Um, you got my uh, my people Wait. on Facebook, so uh, I'll see you from you. Thank you. Were, you. You were so pissed at me, you wouldn't even talk to me anymore. See, I don't turn back. Okay. I just don't talk to you anymore. Hi, guys. It's me, Suze Pratt, <clears throat> the holistic stylist. And um, I've been mysteriously locked out of my WordPress. So it looks like the jackasses are already stealing the website. So we'll just go ahead and look at it just to make sure you guys know it's me. And that I'm under a great deal of duress. And I've been ripped off for three grand. So <clears throat> we'll just let the bank know that. And see what they do. You see this is my logo with my copyright. Suze Pratt 2016 my artwork. Sophia's Emporium, my show. Let's just see if the shows are still there. Yeah, they're there for now. All right. As you see, these are all the shows I've logged in. 33 of them. Paid $100 a month to uh, do all this work. All right, Let's, yeah, this is a $3,000 page, sure it is. Of course, I'm the enzyme girl, so how in the hell they think they can get away with that is beyond me. All my work, my letter to Brad Johns, the experiments I conducted, all the information. Great, great, great. It's all right. I'd rather be ripped off and free you. And have to suck ass just to have a website. Right? So I'm here with my buddy Lydia. My buddy Lydia. Um, it's September 21st, the day of peace. And I was going to have Lydia get rid of Team Viewer because this is the way that Biggie Boho gets involved in my computer. And we were going to throw it in the trash, but we can't because it says that it's open. Hmm. There we go. And I couldn't have done that, did I?